Ушли и морда. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, he goes to the uppercut and he lands to the head. He landed a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. Oh, single collar tie here. Good stick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Way to hide that leg kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Clean left punch followed by the right. He is all about that left kick to the body. A little single collar tie there. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Able to check the high kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big shot land. That was a thudding leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand upstairs. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Head kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fighting your pitch. Nice punch lands over the top. Is there much improved defensively as he blocks the shot? Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh! It's in there deep, there you go. Oh man, look at that, kick turn perfect. Wow. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career.
Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Missed with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Good combination. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Lead. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Some nice back and forth action here. Battle for position here. Big leg kick land. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. He might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head dropping back every time he lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice one, two there. Blocks the shot. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. That knee might have landed there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Back to his feet. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. Big head kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course, he won't succeed. Try, try again, he's never getting down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All right, that's the end of round number two. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. You got to check these low leg kicks. Misses with the right hand. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Single collar tie now. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That's a big strike right there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Connects with a right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Straight punch lands. Punches blocked. Back and forth we go! Takedown defense holds up. Boy, tie club. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Immediately gets the underhook. Huge knee lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice head kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Ooh, what a head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Got the single collar tie. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he got that bow to the target very quickly. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and he switches his stance yet again. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Good punch, Lance. 
Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love, love watching this man fight with that beautiful, educated jab. Got clip with the right hand. Dig and kick. And mixing it up beautifully. And they separate. Nice head kick. Great punch. Just missed with the left there. Clinch. Huge knee lands from in close. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's had that jab in his opponent's face all night long as he lands another one there. DC, I know you wish you had reached like this. Nice strike. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Real quick leg kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! My little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here. A whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Left hand punch in the clinch. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. A oh, little single collar tie there. Lands the right hand. Nice loop and punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Goes back to that left kick once again. Able to check that kick as well. Nice head kick. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great ball, man. Oh, big left. And he caught the kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Battling for hooks. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Beautiful kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Hands higher, hands higher. Nice. Again, they clinch. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Big head kick lands. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry, 
Rotation high crutch is taking for a ride. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. So a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by a tap out due to an on bar. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that